thanks so much for learning English with me. Hmm, I just thanked you for something. So what could you say in reply? And what could you say in reply to sound natural like a native English speaker? Do you know? Well, let's try that again. Thanks so much for learning English with me. What did you say? Did you say, you're welcome? Thank you, you're welcome. That's the most common, right? But in this video, I'm going to teach you six other ways that you can say, you're welcome. Of course, I'm Jennifer from jforestenglish.com and I want to help you become fluent and natural in English. So let's get started. First of all, let's start with your welcome. Your welcome is absolutely a natural expression. I use it all the time. In fact, if you look at the comments section of some of my past YouTube videos, a lot of students do thank me. Thanks for the video. Thanks so much, teacher. Thanks for the great expressions. And I generally write back, you're welcome. That is pretty much the standard reply that I use. So you can absolutely use your welcome. However, there are times when maybe your welcome sounds a little too formal, a little too stiff, or you simply want some alternatives. So you don't always have to say you're welcome every single time. So that's what we'll do here. I'll give you six other ways you can say you're welcome. Expression one, happy to help. This is a great one. It's really friendly. And in terms of formality, you can use this expression in both professional situations and casual situations as well. So this is something I would absolutely say to my boss. So let's say my boss said, Jennifer, thanks so much for that report. I can simply reply back and say, happy to help. Happy to help. Happy to help. So notice here, just for pronunciation, because I want you to say it like a native English speaker, notice I'm saying happy to help, to. To. That's because this preposition here is unstressed. So I'm not going to say happy to help. That's just a little too robotic. So to say naturally, happy to help, to. Happy to help, happy to help. And again, show your happiness in your facial expression. Happy to help. So say it with a slight smile and your tone will instantly be a little bit higher when you smile as well, which is what we want because happy is higher in tone, <laughs> happy to help. So just add that expression to really make this statement pop. So you can use this in any situation, socially or professionally, happy to help. Expression two, my pleasure. This is a great expression that again can be used in both social and professional situations. I would in fact say that this expression is more common in professional situations. So let's say my coworker sends me an email and says, thanks so much for helping me with the presentation. I could simply hit reply and write Two words, my pleasure, my pleasure. Expression three, it was my pleasure or it's my pleasure. Okay, this is very similar to expression two. Of course, it's using pleasure again, my pleasure. So I'm simply adding the subject, it, and the verb to be. Now, I wanted to point this out because you will hear native English speakers use the longer form. So instead of simply saying my pleasure, using it, but then we have two different options. So I just wanted to clarify these for you because you might be a little bit confused when you hear them. So we have to remember that our verb tense will tell us what time frame this expression is in. So if I said, it was my pleasure, 
what verb tense is being used here? Hmm. Of course, it's the past simple. It's the verb to be in the past simple. It was my pleasure. So what does this tell you about the action? It's in the past, right? The action has already been completed. So let's say my coworker says, thanks for buying me coffee. So thanks for buying me coffee. And I could simply say, oh, it was my pleasure. It was my pleasure. It was my pleasure. So when I say this, I already bought my coworker a coffee. The action is complete. But let's say the situation is a little bit different. Let's say I go to my coworker's desk and I say, oh, I'm just going to Starbucks. Can I get you a coffee? And they say, yeah, sure, I'd love a coffee. Thanks so much. And I say, oh, it's my pleasure. So here, the action hasn't happened yet, right? Because I offered to buy my coworker a coffee, they accepted, and now I'm going to go get the coffee. So I use it's my pleasure for an action that hasn't taken place yet. Okay, so it was my pleasure. You've already done the action that you're being thanked for. It's my pleasure. You haven't completed the action yet. You're being thanked in advance, basically. Okay, but both of those you can use. Now, if you're a little bit confused, do I use was or do I use is? Well, you can simply just say my pleasure and then you don't have to worry about it, right? So always look for ways to make learning just as easy and simple as possible. And maybe this is one of those times. If you're more at the beginner level and this is confusing you, simply just say my pleasure and then it works for past actions and future actions as well. Expression four, no problem. This is a great one, probably one of the most common expressions that I use socially. Now, you can definitely use this in the workplace as well, but perhaps I would use it more with coworkers in an informal relationship. So every, every workplace has a different level of formality. Now, maybe in your workplace, you're a little more formal with your coworkers or with your boss, so using this expression wouldn't sound that natural. But if you do have a more informal workplace where you greet each other more naturally, well then definitely feel free to use this expression. It is not slang in any way. I don't wanna give you the impression that it's slang. It's simply a more casual, friendly tone. So it might be appropriate for your workplace or it might not be. That's for you to decide. Okay, so again, we'll take the coffee example. So my coworker wants to thank me for the coffee I just brought them. They say, oh, Jennifer, you're awesome. Thanks so much. And I say, no problem, no problem. Now there is a slang expression that we use with this expression. And that's simply saying no prob, no prob, no prob. So this is simply, of course, taking problem and shortening it to prob. Now I would use this orally only with my friends. I wouldn't use it in the workplace. And I would use this in text form as well, where we tend to abbreviate our words even more, no prob. Expression five, it was nothing, it is nothing. Okay, so again, we have our was, is situation. The same rules apply. It was nothing. In this situation, I already bought my coworker the coffee, I already helped them with their report, I already returned that client call for them, the action is completed. It was nothing, it was nothing. And of course, I can say, oh, it's nothing, it's nothing. Of course, it is, it's, 
it, contraction, that's how a native English speaker is going to say it, it's nothing. So this, I've committed to buying my coworker the coffee, I've committed to completing the report, but the action hasn't happened yet. Oh, it's nothing. Expression six, of course, anytime. So by using this, you're letting the person know that anytime they need help or want assistance, they can come to you. You're like saying you're open to receive requests for help. Now we can use this both in a social situation or a professional situation. Professionally, I would probably use this with my coworkers. If I had a very casual relationship with my boss, well then I would use it with him or her. However, if I had a more formal relationship with my boss, I would probably use my pleasure or happy to help instead. All right, so now it's your turn to practice. So thank you so much for watching this video today. What did you reply back? So decide which one of these expressions you want to use. You don't need to use them all. Maybe just learn two to three so you have some different expressions you can use. And write in the comments which one you just use. So if I said, thanks so much for watching this video, write that in the comments. This will help you practice it and it will help you remember it as well. Now I have another reason for you to say thank you because I'm going to give you this free guide, how to speak English fluently and confidently in six easy steps. So it's absolutely free. Just head on over to my website, j4senglish.com and click the free guide link and you can download it absolutely free. So now you can thank me. Oh, thanks so much for the free guide. And I'm going to say, happy to help. Happy to help all the students out there learning English. So thanks again so much for watching today. Please like this video, share it with your friends, and of course subscribe. And until next time, happy studying.